Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my videos. In this video, uh, I'm going to go over how to set up a Nitro RC car. Um, this video is for RC, uh, Nitro RC beginners like myself. Um, <clears throat> but I've done uh, a couple of them now and getting the hang of it, so I thought this would be a good time to document and uh, at least go through um, how I set one of these up so <clears throat> I did an unboxing video on this guy which is the HSP 94166 uh, 110 scale um, with the CXP 0.18 engine um, definitely check out that video if you want more details on this uh, nitro um, but first thing you'll do you can take it out is uh, you'll need uh, your four uh, AA batteries for the receiver box and what I'm going to be doing is pairing this to my Flysky GT3C uh, instead of using the, uh, st the stock GT2 that came with it and what that does is it'll save me eight AA batteries. Um, <clears throat> so first thing you'll do is need to remove the cover on the receiver box two Phillips screws will do it like this uh, one here one here and then you can slide this cover over and here's your receiver which I'll be working on in a bit um, and here is <clears throat> the receiver pack I am waiting for a battery pack uh, to use in uh, for these but for now I will just stick with the double A's so it takes four of them and uh, if you do bashing and jumps uh, it'd be good to tape this with some electrical tape so the power switch was on let me turn that off um, so tape this up so the batteries don't come loose but anyways I'm gonna demonstrate uh, how a fail safe works um, so um, and how to program it so this is, <clears throat> so now we know that this has power. I know that this has power. So the next step is to grab the uh, binding uh, plug adapter um, that comes with the manual uh, or one of these transmitters or receivers. This goes into uh, channel three. Now once you have it in channel 3, you can power this on and you'll see that the red LED is flashing. And then now on here, there's a bind button that you can push and hold while you, oops, let me power this off, okay. Uh, here's the bind button, I'll push and hold and then, sorry. Before we get to that, uh, I was setting up a profile, which uh, I forgot to do. Uh, let me go ahead and switch this over. I'm going to channel model 5, and then I'll just name this really quick HSP. So I'll, I'll change this in a bit. But anyways, now that we're actually in the model that we want to be in, I'll power that off. With the LED still flashing, I'm going to hold, press and hold bind and then power this on. Let go of bind and then you'll see that the LED stopped flashing. So now you can pull the plug out of channel 3 and then we're going to shut everything off. So car off, transmitter off, transmitter on, and car on. And now you can see we have control right, left, and then throttle and brake. Okay. So <clears throat> now that that's set, um, I'm going to see if this has a fail safe. So fail safe testing, I'm going to shut off my transmitter and you'll notice that 
the failsafe works because it went to full brake which prevents the car from running off so don't need to set that but in case you're wondering how to uh, what you would do is going back to this plug adapter you'll see that it comes with this little plastic needle this needle will go into there's a little recessed button next to the LED which you'll press and hold with the needle while you pushed uh, while you go reverse on the transmitter and what that will do is it'll set the fail safe position to reverse um, or break uh, in a nitro case um, when the connection is lost okay so that's pretty much it for the setup I'm gonna go ahead and button this up and uh, get ready for the first startup thanks be right back all right so I'm back here on my little setup <laughs> have a piece of wood to hold the RC up so that the wheels aren't on the ground um, I went ahead and buttoned up the receiver box and ran my engine heater. It's a cold day and it's been raining. Um, filled up the fuel tank and oops, filled up the fuel tank and um, primed it. Uh, plenty of other videos, but uh, my method of priming I just followed plugging the exhaust pipe and pulling the uh, the pull starter a couple times and you'll see the uh, fuel come from this line through into the carp right under the high speed needle but I'm gonna go ahead and set this down and we're gonna try to start this up for the first time almost Thanks for watching. 